You've got issues, you have. I've got, I've got tea issues. We've also been offered, what do they call them? Um, well, it's just... Uh, it's a, <laughs> it's a unit, like a, a sideboard with, an, with a bit on top. Yeah. With cupboards on top. It's 1970. I know there's not. a word for it. So if I think of that word, I'll insert it here. <laughs> Can't think of it right now. Hello, everyone. So I thought I would do a weekend vlog, I haven't done one of those for a while and we're off to go and sell at a boot sale today and then I think we're planning to go to um, an indoor boot sale tomorrow. So I thought I would film a little bit of that as much as I can and take you along with us for the weekend. So we're just having a little bit of breakfast before we go. We're actually going to a local boot sale today and that's where we're going to sell and thankfully it doesn't start until 10 o'clock. That's much more sociable for me. I prefer a boot sale that starts a bit later, so we don't have to set up until nine o'clock. But before we go, I wanted to talk to you about Anna Louisa jewellery. I'm offered more things that I say no to than I say yes to. And if I say yes to telling you about something, then it is because I really believe in it and I really like the product and I think that you will too. So if you remember, I worked with them Christmas before last and then last Christmas. And this time around, they have reached out to me and asked me to share with you what I think about the jewellery that I've been gifted and how I feel about it. Do I like it? Um, do I enjoy wearing it, etc. And that is a really easy thing to answer because you may have noticed that I pretty much live in these earrings. These lovely silver earrings. They were one of the first earrings that I was gifted the first time that I worked with Anna Luisa and I pretty much haven't taken them off since. <laughs> I wear them all the time. This is another pair that they sent me the first time that I worked with them. And I've worn those quite a bit as well. I tend to wear these if I'm going out. They're just a little bit more dressy, a bit more sophisticated than um, just the simple silver ones. Um, the last time, last Christmas that I worked with them, they sent me these that I chose and I've worn these a lot as well. And you may recognize these. One thing that I really love about their earrings as well is how easy they are to wear because I can take these out and put these in without looking. The clasp is just so easy to clip in and out and you can just pop them on without looking in the mirror and do them up. There's no fiddling about with you know, backs etc. Although these ones do have a back, having said that, um, they do have a back. So it seems I'm changing my earrings now pop those in. There we go. It's always the way, isn't it? Talk about earrings and then your ears go red. <laughs> so those are the little daisy ones and I think these are my second favourite pair. I do wear these quite a bit and I really, really like how cute these are. They're my kind of summer go-to at the moment. So if I'm wearing something just a bit prettier, I pop those on. Um, so this time around I was able to choose two pieces to show you and I got these and I thought I would go for something just a little bit different. So I chose these and they just slip in and twist around. Really easy to put in and yeah you could sleep in these anything. I'm going to a festival next week so I'm thinking that I might just wear these because they're just going to be so easy to wear. Slip them in. I can wear them all weekend and sleep in them as well. And then I chose these ones because I wanted something similar to the... <laughs> forgot which earrings I had in then. Similar to the um, little silver ones that I've got. 
but a slightly different design so I went with the stars. So I might as well try these on while I'm talking to you. Um, yeah, another thing that I really love about their jewellery is they don't tarnish. I've had many different silver earrings over the years and they all get to a point where they just look horrible. You know, they, they're really tarnished and I, I can never be bothered to clean them. So they just end up sitting in a box and I never do anything with them. So that's the little stars. They're so cute, I really like those. I'm allergic to wearing metal alloys in my ears. Um, they just flare up and start getting really weepy and horrible. So the fact that these are all gold and silver and they're also really affordable is just fantastic. Um, the price is, that's, that's Jeff, he has to get involved in any video I do. The price is, <laughs> So before I was interrupted by Jeff, I was trying to tell you that they're very affordable. Their prices start from $39, which is about £30, and the quality is fantastic. Like I say, the first two pairs that I've had, I've worn so much, especially the silver ones, I've worn nearly every day, and they look like they were when I first received them. Um, just absolutely beautiful. The biggest reason that I said yes almost two years ago now is I love their ethos on the environment. They're carbon neutral and they are, I have to look at this so that I don't forget, climate neutral certified and they offset 100% of their carbon footprint which is fantastic. So working with Ana Luisa and wearing their jewellery fits in with the ethos of my channel. I truly love their products, I love them as a company and I couldn't be happier to share that with you. And having said all of that, I also have a 20% off discount code for you which I will pop on the screen now and it will be in the description box below as well. Okay, so time to go to the boot sale. We've already loaded up the car so I just need to go and grab Jeff and we'll be on our way. How much are your cassettes? Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six quid, a pound each. I think you pound each on those. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. That's alright. Yeah. a steamer. Ah, okay. Yeah, what okay. you do is half cook your stuff and then right. put the lid on. Yeah, I just noticed it was Tupperware. Yeah, it reminds yeah. me of uh, yeah. my mum was a rep in the 70s. Oh, was she? Yeah, yeah it's good. It's brilliant. I've yeah, yeah, still got a load of um, Tupperware. Indeed, yeah. it lasts. Well, it lasts forever. <laughs> I've got another two of these. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. We've arrived at the boot sale and we've set up. So, yeah, fingers crossed. It's quite a small one, really. Um, so I'm hoping there'll be enough buyers. I'm gonna actually clear some stuff today, which will make it worth it. Got the <laughs> door open and it's a little bit windy today. I've got Jeff down the side there in the shade. He's all settled, just chilling, watching the world go by. So I will show you our little setup and fingers crossed, we clear some stuff today. Hey Jeff, you chilling? You chilling? Uh oh, hello, hello. Are you feeling left out? Feeling left out. Oh, I'm very sorry. I'm 
very sorry. <laughs> We're not very far away. Hello. So, we've just got back from the boot sale. We um, didn't do as well as we normally do on a boot sale. It was quite quiet and it was very windy and um, yeah, there seemed to be plenty of stalls but not as many people buying so we didn't sell as much as we hoped that we would do but there we are, that's how it goes sometimes. But when I got home there was a note saying that there was a DPD parcel for us um, and we retrieved it and it was addressed to me and I was thinking I haven't ordered anything. I'm really confused by that. <laughs> and I could see Nick looking at me and I was thinking, he thinks I've ordered something. <laughs> I haven't ordered anything. So, um, yeah, I was really confused. And I opened it. And let me show you what was inside. Some absolutely gorgeous Wittard of Chelsea hot chocolate. And some Wittard of Chelsea tea as well. Wow, I couldn't believe it. I was bowled over when I opened that. And it turns out it's a gift from our friends Marcus and Rachel who also watch our videos. So Marcus and Rachel, thank you so much what a lovely gift i <laughs> i was just so yeah like i say bowled over by it and how gorgeous i'm i'm really going to enjoy that in fact i'm going to make myself a cup of tea with it right now so the question is which one do i go for i think i quite fancy the rose actually so i might try that This is my tea drawer. Ta -da! <laughs> and quite handily, I have a little space here. So I'm going to put my new teas in the little space. Try not to drop them. It's very difficult to um, film myself doing this. And not going to fit is it? Oh, I might have to take them out of their little card things but I don't want to do that because it's Alice in Wonderland and they're really pretty. You've got issues you have. I've got, I've got tea issues. Oh look look look, look. you've got yeah. two left there right so you could I have to condense them. Move one of these Yeah. maybe and just sit these somewhere else for now. I don't know first world problems. And then look Stack them in there. See, this is why you need a man in your life. <laughs> to sort out your... Oh, you've already put some in. Yeah, but if I put one of those over there, then I've got three and three. That works, doesn't it? Also, I'm going to have my tea in this gorgeous cup and saucer, which is huge. And it is actually vintage, before anyone says. Which surprised me, being so big. It's Woodsware, and it's one of my favourite Christmas presents that I got this year from Nick's mum and dad. So, yeah, I'm going to very much enjoy my tea in my vintage cup and saucer. That is nice. That is really nice. Hello, Jeff. What are you doing? What are you up to? Not much. So my plan for this afternoon was going to be this. I will switch the camera around and then I can show you what I'm doing. So I have drafted these vases 
and I've just washed them all so I'm going to do the photography for that but then also I've been pricing up all of this Pyrex that we bought in the job lot from the yard sale and I've got prices on all of that now so you'll see that in a future video but as things happen things have changed here's a nick and um, we have been offered a mid-century table haven't we you're very bleached in the door there <laughs> we've been offered a mid-century table so um, we're now off out to go and pick up a table yeah we've also been offered what do they call them um well it's just uh... It's, a, it's, a, it's a unit, like a, a sideboard with, an, with a bit on top. Yeah. With cupboards on top. It's 1970. I know there's not. a word for it. So if I think of that word, I'll insert it here. <laughs> Can't think of it right now. Um, but we don't know with our low ceilings if it will fit in the house. So or, we, we need to measure. Or if, if it comes apart so we can transport it even. Oh yeah, there is that as well. And hopefully we can fit the table in the car. So we shall see. Well, somehow we managed to get it in the car. <laughs> Look at the clearance on that. That's quite amazing, really. I'll get it out though. Oh no, there we go. So we have four chairs. I quite like those. Yeah, I they're like nice. Those a lot. But we're thinking maybe we'll re up past. I don't know, actually. I don't know. A couple of them look a bit worn, so we might re upholster them. But, yeah, really pleased with those. Um, so, yeah, we've got to try and find, and we find were, somewhere to put it now. Rachel even gave us some varnish oh, that they weren't using because uh, we're going to probably treat the top because yeah. it's got a bit of damage on the top. Yeah, we will definitely need to do that. But, I mean, for free, it's incredible. It really is. Well, you can tell by my dishevelled appearance that we had quite the time trying to get this table in. Yeah. Um, but we couldn't get it couldn't get it through the front door. Well, there's no simple way of getting the legs off. It fitted in the car with its legs attached. We got it home and it wouldn't fit through the front door. So I thought, we'll take the legs off. But this one, the old one that it's replacing, you can you can unscrew the legs easily. This, Jeff's trying to get up. I know, he's, he's very this upset one, by the entire thing. The, the, there must be a way to get the legs off, but it's not simple. So we, we bought it right around the back of the house. The back door is yeah. wider, but we still so have to put it will probably bleach, but yeah. So the back door, we ended up having to kind of angle it round with the legs on its side. That's a technical term. Yeah. We put it on its side. We put it on its side. We angled it round. That's the technical term. <laughs> and um, we got it in. Yay! Yeah. So just looking so, at the top, it's got quite a lot of damage, but we're going to... I'll turn you around so back. you can see. So if you look at the top, it has quite a lot of damage, scratches and stuff, but we're going to sand this back yeah. and varnish again. And it has its extendable basically the same as our modern version of this um, but this is probably as old as we are <laughs> yeah and we discovered it's got a name, Mer Meridew or Meridew not sure probably Meridew but the original colour is shown in the middle if I open it no, no there we go so as is normally the case with the, the inner leaves, yeah. they are in much better condition than the rest of it. Look at the contrast. Um, so you were thinking we'd probably sand the whole thing back and then. I think so because there is a bit of wear. In there it. is a little bit of damage to this, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you see it here. So I thought I'd just do the whole thing. Yeah. Um, and we've got some teak varnish, so we can get it back to this colour. Yes. So, I doubt very much Pat watches our videos, but Pat, if you happen to watch this, thank you so much. We will, we will restore this and love it a lot. We will, indeed. I mean, we've wanted a mid-century table for a long time. And I can't remember if I said about the wall unit. Yes, I did, because we couldn't think what it was called. Um, yeah, we measured it, 
and it's perfect. It's actually a short one, so <laughs> it fits in our short house. Yeah, I couldn't so, tell from the picture, but it but it's only sort of this high, yeah. sort of shoulder height. So it's going to fit over there where we've currently got an IKEA unit which doesn't fit in. Yeah. So we're going to have that as well, um, which is wonderful because again we've always wanted one of those. That's going to fit. So that's going to fit here. Um, it, it's. I don't know if it's matching to the table, but it's a similar age. Yeah, um, it's teak, so it, it should be very similar. But we need to arrange transport for that because it doesn't come apart <laughs> and it's big. We're not going to fit that in our car. Let's hope we can fit that through our door. Yeah, well, that's the standing unit. That, that would be fine. Yes. Yeah. waiting for me. off as a really lovely walk. We walked right the way through the fields and into a part of the village that we haven't seen before and came back out onto a main road which comes back into the village and yeah it was so nice to explore and see just a little bit more of the village than we've seen before. The only thing was shooting season for uh, pheasants and grouse I believe has started now. So as we got to the end of that field, we could hear some gunshots and Jeff decided to leg it back because he just thought he was going home. Um, thankfully, he did actually come back. Um, <laughs> my heart was in my mouth, but um, we shouted to him and he'd, he'd gone quite far and I was beginning to think, ah, is this gonna work, is this gonna work? Um, but it did. He stopped and he came back, um, so the recall worked. There was Nick trying to calm me, saying, um, you know, don't, don't give in, don't give in, just keep calling him, he will come back, he won't keep going. And he was right, he did. And we continued our walk. Um, but then we got a bit lost. <laughs> we thought that we could find our way back. We crossed over the, the road, back through some fields and we thought that we could do a bit of a, a circle, like a circular walk and back into the village and we got lost. Um, we didn't know quite where we were going and I just made the executive decision <laughs> to turn around and go back to the road and walk back along that way. So that's what we did. So the part that you saw of the walk was really lovely and very enjoyable and enjoying the sunshine and the nature <laughs> and, then, and then reality hit. <laughs> so we're home now 
and I'm going to make a vegan roast dinner. Um, definitely in need of that now after all that exercise. But we didn't go to the boot sale this morning. We decided that um, we probably needed to sell more of what we actually have rather than buy more because um, we've got quite a big backlog at the moment. So we decided we're just going to have a bit more of a chill Sunday, do some jobs at home. Nick's been filling some holes in the windowsills that we're going to start working on and we had a few jobs that we needed to do. Um, so we didn't rush out early in the morning to go to the boot sale. Right, I'm going to start making dinner now. Really looking forward to it. Um, I'll show you what we're going to have. This is what I'm going to prepare for our vegan roast. So we're going to have Linda McCartney's rosemary and onion sausages. It's a lot of potatoes. That's not all for this dinner. I'm going to um, boil them up and then use them for salads during the weekend. But I'm thinking that I might roast a couple of the bigger ones for us today. Because, I mean, even though it's summer, it's still quite fancy roast potatoes. And then I'm going to do a little bit of butternut squash obviously not the whole squash itself because it's quite large but I'll do a couple of bits for us we've got some sweet corn which I'm going to do in the oven and then I'm going to roast some courgettes and carrots and a little bit of broccoli and beans as well so just a little bit of everything Editing Andrea here because I realised I forgot to finish the blog last night and I didn't do a wrap up so um, just wrapping up the vlog now. Um, don't forget to click the link below for 20% off Anna Luisa jewellery if you're interested in that. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this weekend vlog. If you did please give it a like and I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care for now. Bye.